Hi guys. Um, today I will be sharing to you something different than the usual. Uh, it's not accounting related today, but it's still business related. If you look at your screen, I have here a sample hotel booking system. Um, most of the hotels I've known and I've visited, uh, I happen to see their booking system as part of my work as an accountant. And majority of them are using only Microsoft Excel because they find it um, the commercial version of the hotel booking system are quite expensive. So today I will be introducing to you a somewhat organized and a program program look of a hotel booking system without having to learn programming at all. So I will be showing to you um, a sample booking system where no coding has been used. Okay. When I say it look like it looks like a program, it's because if you if you click under room room one here, you see the status, the room status ready. When you click here, you will see a drop down list here. So you have vacant, occupied, and ready. So that means the user of this booking system doesn't have to encode the status per room. So you can see here, if I choose vacant, it's vacant. Another thing is, just now, when it's the status is ready, the color is green. When we click it to vacant, it becomes yellow. So that's another beauty of this um, booking system I'm introducing to you. Uh, it, the color corresponds to the status. Green means ready, it's ready for occupancy. Yellow, it's vacant, but the hotel's uh, attendants, or I don't know the exact term, but they're making it ready. And red, if, if the room is already occupied. So it's easier for the user of this booking system to identify by simply looking at the colors, they will already know that, okay, this, we have one, two, three, four uh, rooms that are ready. Another great feature of this hotel booking system is that uh, the links here are also functional. Say, we have here main menu. So if you click main menu here, you are, it will bring you to this uh, summary of the status of the rooms. If you click first floor here, it's also a link to first floor. It's so going back to main menu, just click main menu. Click again, second floor. You are now in the second floor menu. So going back to main menu and you are also the third floor. Okay, another great feature of this um, total booking system that I will be teaching you is that all the room status summary corresponds to the status there. So here, for example, first floor you have 12 rooms, four ready, three vacant, five occupied. Okay, remember this, four ready in first floor. So if we click first floor, we have one room to one, one, two, three, four. So we really have four uh, ready here. So for example, your attendants um, already finished cleaning room five. Oh, it's ready for occupancy. So you just click room five and choose ready. So we now have one, two, three, four, five under first floor. So going back to our main menu, so we now have five ready. So it's real time update of how many ready floors you have. So if, imagine if you receive a phone call from a customer and say they say they're booking for a group. So they will ask you, 
how many uh, floors, uh, so rather, how many rooms uh, are available? So you can just simply go here and you, uh, you can just quickly answer that you have 15 floors available. Okay, again, no coding here and you are just, you don't have to install any program because we are using only, look at this, look at this. We are only using Microsoft Excel. I'm using the 2013 version of Microsoft Excel. You don't have to install a new program. Um, you just have to, no coding at all. And I'll be teaching you from scratch. This short video was prepared uh, with the uh, intention of helping those who are in the hospitality management and for those students who wanted to take up uh, hospitality management or formerly HRM, to be able to equip them with real life or real world uh, techniques that can help them in making their work later on easy and efficient. To start, um, Please open a new Microsoft Excel workbook. Uh, I'm using the 2013 version, uh, edition, uh, but any edition will do. So here <clears throat> in column C, C2, you type room one. Okay, after typing room one, you just drag. You will be creating five rooms. So that's the beauty of Microsoft Excel. You can just create one, then drag the label, and that's it. Then here we will create, <clears throat> we will type the room status, say uh, ready. Our first goal here is to create a drop-down list. We wanted to have uh, the user a drop-down list here. So he doesn't have to type the status of the room, but rather he just he or she will just click the room status. So we wanted to have room status like ready, um, occupied, then you have vacant so we wanted this three to be available here this side so to do that uh, we copy this three copy okay then here in k1 right click and you see this option transpose okay so you transpose ready occupied and vacant so go back to room one then go to data choose data validation click data validation okay once you are in this uh, window, the default value is any value. So you change this to list. Then in the source, we choose our options here, ready, occupant, and vacant, and click again, then click OK. What we did just now, was to limit the value of C3 here to only ready, occupied, and vacant. Okay, when I say limit, that means if I type here, say test, okay, Excel will not accept that option. So we now have the drop down options. These drop down options can also be dragged 
and be applied to these five rooms. Okay, we go to room three. See, we also have drop down list here. Room five, we also have drop down list. Okay, Our next goal is to have this um, drop down list once selected changes color accordingly okay so to make it easier let's change uh the assigned color for ready based on our uh, sample ready is colored green while occupied is color red and vacant is colored yellow Okay, we will copy these um, colors here. Okay. okay, click again the status of room one. Make sure you are in the home ribbon. Okay, when we did the drop down, we click here in the data. Now go back to the home ribbon. Okay. In the home ribbon, you see here conditional formatting. You see this conditional formatting. Click this conditional formatting, choose highlight cells rules, then equal to, then click ready. Okay. So we wanted to format this if we are telling Excel, Excel, if this is ready. If the word here is ready, change it to, so we choose, green fill with dark green text. And then click OK. So if you notice, ready now is green. OK. Click here again in room 1 uh, status. You are in C3. Okay, you do the same thing, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, choose equal to. This time we choose occupied. So now we are telling Excel, Excel, if the value in C3 here under room one is equal to occupied, make it red. So um, it's light red, Fill with dark red text. Okay, which is this. Then click OK. Okay, let's test. It's re ready is green. Occupied is red. Now it changes to red. Okay, stay here. You do the same thing. Lastly, conditional formatting. Highlight cells rules. Equal to again. I, I believe by now you get it. You choose vacant and click yellow then click ok let's check occupied ready green occupied red and vacant yellow ok now you can also drag this and let's check room 3 ready occupied and vacant so everything is working you just adjust here drag Okay, so we now have our drop down list per rooms and we can copy the same, the whole thing here and have another set of rooms. So change this to room six and drag. We now have 10 rooms and all of these are working as intended okay so let's continue